The popular perception of Ballymun begins and ends here in its notorious terror blocks. But this narrow view of Ballymun ignores its broader historical landscape. This is a town with a lively and lurid history dating back centuries. Once upon a time, the place that I'm standing on was a favourite haunt of highwaymen who would relieve their victims of their gold, jewellery and minimalist flat pack furniture before fleeing into the dense sanctuary forest. Over the centuries, Ballymun has passed through the hands of Norman nobles, Cistercian monks and extravagant aristocrats. It was the latter who were responsible for one of the most gruesome episodes in Ballymun's history. In the mid-1840s, the heir to the Donville estate, drunk after a night of revelry, doused his coachman in spirits and burnt him alive. The coachman is buried here at St. Papin's Church, the oldest surviving building in Ballymun. The building behind me is Skull and Shachter Lake a pioneering Irish language school built in 1973. It stands on the site of Stormstown House, an elegant mansion constructed in the 19th century. And running beneath my feet is the ghost of the Wad River, which likes to remind locals of its existence by flooding the neighborhood during rainy winters. Generations of young valley munners learned to swim here at the old swimming pool. Originally it was planned to build a car park on this site, but residents disrupted the construction until the corporation gave in and built the swimming pool instead. There is so much more to Ballymun's history than its caricature would have you believe. This has just been a brief introduction and a reminder of the flesh and blood behind the bricks and mortar.